Good morning everyone and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday the 9th of December. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. And one alternative is this song of king song of the king's glory. The earth is the Lord and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell in there. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who can rise up to his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their souls to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. That was from Psalm 24. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is Isaiah chapter 32. And the Old Testament canticle is composed of verses from the book of Isaiah. The refrain is, Lift your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. <clears throat> the desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. 
Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. The four waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your head, your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The New Testament reading is from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite women, woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. Now it is time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provisions for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. That chant is from Romans 13. And now the Gospel Canticle, Alternative, a Song of Redemption. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. In him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, 
and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Those words are from Paul's letter to the Colossians. And so we come to our prayers. Bearing in mind this is recorded several days before the Thursday, any prayers that come from worldwide news will be inaccurate or out of date. But you're probably up with the news, so bring to the Lord the things that you've heard today that disturb you. The earth seems very restive at the moment. There's another volcano erupting in Indonesia. What that'll do to the uh, greenhouse problem, I don't know. But it'll do something. But we pray for the people caught living where there are volcanoes that are active. We thank God that, as far as we know, everything in this country is well past activity. But we still have the extra storms and think of the people who've been without power for so long. And so we ask God to bless his world, bless the people who are suffering, bless the people who would help them. And help those with plenty to be generous in giving somehow or other to help those who need it. That's a prayer for the world and its tasks. The next subheading is the church and her life. At the moment, our church is carrying on with, without a rector or a team vicar and we thank God for all those who are doing extra to keep the life of the church not only ticking over but working well. We pray for the work of the refurbishment and the safety of the workers and the provision of the last of the funds. We thank God that this work has begun and look forward to Holy Trinity being bright and clean and warm. We pray for each member of our church, each member of every Christian congregation in Rayleigh. We pray for the Church of England worldwide, for our archbishops and all the layers of the hierarchy of clergy beneath them. All who come offering their lives in service to the Lord through his church. We pray a blessing on everyone who serves the Lord through the church. and thank him for our church family.
and there's a form of prayer offered for Advent. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring us, may, that God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as I said those words, I thought of all those Christians who live under the threat of persecution in many nations of the world. We ask God to bless them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And so we ask for a blessing for our day and the tasks it may offer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for today. O oh Lord, raise up, we pray, your power, and come among us, that, and with great might succour us. And whereas, through our sins and <clears throat> wickedness, we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining. I hope you have a good day and look forward to joining with you again. Goodbye. God bless.